Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is a great pleasure in the middle of these hot summer months to sit back and listen to stories. The crowds in the gospel were able to do just that, for Jesus taught them by telling parables. Parables made his lessons about the kingdom of heaven memorable in ways in which straightforward narration would fail. Now it is our turn to listen. Let us savor them, ruminating on their rich images and considering their meaning in our lives. Please silence all cell phones as we prepare our minds and hearts to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. Please stand. Sing a new song, rejoice, the dawn is breaking, the earth is waking, its dreams come true, and do you hear the voice? Darkness surprising, saying in its rising, See, I am making all things new. Whom shall we live for? Whose mighty hand made the moon, the sun, and stars on high? Who made a way for us through water and the sand? Brought us out of slavery and fed us from the sky. Sing a new song, rejoice. The dawn is breaking, the earth is waking. Its dreams come true, and do you hear the voice? Darkness surprising, seeing it, it's rising. See, I am making all things new. Who found us wanderers and made us into one? Who is ever near with strength to save? Whose love adopted us with daughters and the sons? Family to the firstborn who is risen from the grave. Sing a new song with joys. The dawn is breaking. The earth is waking. Its dreams come true, and do you hear the voice? Darkness surprising, seeing in its rising. See, I am making all things new. See, I am making all things new. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. I'm Father Bob. I haven't been here for six months, and I don't recognize anybody because you have your mask on, which is good. And uh, hopefully you've been safe and healthy. And I understand today you had a funeral today. Who was I? I forget. What's his name? Okay. And he died because of the virus, huh? Let's pause and thank God for the blessings that we have and pray for those who have gone before us, especially those who have died because of corona. Lord Jesus, you teach us how to pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you intercede with the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you remember your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us all. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, protect all of us as you place our hope in you. 
Everything you do is holy. Fill us now with your mercy. Guide us now to the gift of life eternal. This we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father, David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast group of people? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up till now, and after you there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. I have said, O oh Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, I love your commands. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, I love your commands. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, every false way I hate. Lord, I love your commands. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, I love your commands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
Everything's good. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to our God. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from a storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Can I ask, is this okay to be here? I don't want people to look at my back all the time, but <laughs> it's really good to be back with all of you. <sighs> if I can ask, go to church on a weekend, maybe a Sunday, and you heard a sermon, and immediately it changed your life? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Tell you the truth, it happened to me one time. Oops. <laughs> okay. One time, I went to, I was at Mass, and I heard a sermon, and I really did immediately change part of my life. The sermon was given by a 10 year old boy, like this. Long story short, this happened nine years ago, this time. The readings were the same readings we just heard. My job at that time was the fundraiser, raising money for the Franciscans. I hated that job. <laughs> I'd rather spend money than make money, but that's, but the job meant a lot of travel, meeting donors really all over the country, and many weekends I were free. I didn't have any parish responsibilities, so I was able to help out in churches like St. Albans. I got a call from a good friend, pastor at St. Rose up in Florissant, and his name was Father Tom, and Tom was going to be gone for a whole month back to school, summer school. And he asked if I could help him out. I go, I'd be glad to. I went to St. Rose Church. It was very much like you. The people were very friendly, very warm, very outgoing, and they interacted during Mass. Most churches you go to, people fall asleep. But at this, like you, there's an action between you and the priest, the priest, and it's great. So I was there for a whole month. And I really liked the parish. And I felt very comfortable there. And there's this reading we just heard today. And I was trying to think what to preach about. And I thought maybe the fish. There are so many different fish in the world. Look at all the fish here today, huh? The world is made up of all different fish. And we're all different people. But we're all in the one pond, huh? And the pearl. There are things that are important to you that may not be important to me. And things that I want, you probably don't care about. That's how life is. But we have to respect one another. So that's why I thought I was going to preach about respect one another, even though we are different. Okay. So I began by asking the people, do you collect anything? Anything you collect, 
like, you know, coins or stamps. And one lady said, Father, I collect, oh, a man began, I collect shot glasses. He does a lot of traveling. You ever go to the airport, you always see a little shot glass? He always buys one. He says, I have all these shot glasses at home. Great. Some lady, she goes, I collect teapots. She says, I have a whole room full of teapots. The perfect example, I could care less about a teapot, but for her, they were important. Huh? So then I thought, I'm going to share with them what I collect. And this is true, I collect bus schedules. I got it, this is true, when I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a bus driver. I grew up in Cleveland, I wanted to be a bus driver. I became a priest, I guess, I'm glad I did. But I always wanted to be a bus driver. And I always, I still like buses. So when I was traveling around, visiting all these people, I decided to go to downtown of all the cities and pick up the bus schedules. Okay, I think I had 150 different cities, all the bus schedules. I had three big tubs of bus schedules. And just to prove I was doing that, I brought out a package of bus schedules for St. Louis, a big packet. I showed everyone the bus schedules. A few people laughed, like you. Most of the people shook their head. Poor Father Bob, he doesn't have it upstairs. Huh? He's, a few screws are missing. But we're all different. So I collect bus schedules. Now this is very true. I showed the bus schedules to the people. And in the front row was a family, and there are two boys. One boy yelled out, Father Bob, can I have your bus schedules? I immediately said, no, <laughs> they're my bus schedules. I collect them, I want them. I, then it dawned on me, what did I just say? What did I do? These stupid bus schedules were more important than my relationship with another person. How about us? Are there any things in your life that are very important that maybe hold us back from relationships with family, friends, and even God? For example, some of the big ones, alcohol abuse. Many people are touched with that disease. And that affects not just you, your family, your friends, Drugs, the same thing. Pornography, wow. Uh, gambling, it could be. You know, all these things are okay. And I'm so, but you know, I go to the casino every now and then. But, that, uh, but if it becomes part of your life, where it takes over your life. Other things too. Uh, it could be food, look at me. You know, I think of food all the time. Things can take over our lives. Maybe even teapots, <laughs> the bus schedules. Things can control us. And that's when things become bad. Things are good until they take over our lives. And I think that's the message of the gospel today too. There's so much junk in the world, but how much junk controls us? I don't think anyone's gonna go home and <laughs> But this little boy, that was the best sermon I ever heard when he told me, Father Bob, can I have your bus schedules? When I went home, believe it or not, I took the three big bins of bus schedules and put them in the trash. I cried a little bit. <laughs> but then I realized I'm free. Because whenever I traveled around, I had to go to a a library, or I had to go downtown to the bus station and pick up all the. I'm free though. I'm free for time to be with among people, to be with family.
friends, and with God. So maybe today we can just ask ourselves, examine our conscience. Is there anything in our life that holds us back? Things that may control us. Things that prevent us from being who we are. Good people who love God above all things. And maybe the sermon didn't change me. I had to change myself. And maybe for all of us, maybe there's something in your life that needs to change. It's up to you to do it. Let's all stand. of life. Yes. These from the Father and the Son, the Son, with the Father and the Son, Son. Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, yes. Catholic, and apostolic yes. church. I confess one yes. baptism for forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us all pray. For the church, that we may realize the treasure of God's presence buried in each person we meet and live our lives in the joy of that knowledge, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For political leaders, that they may govern the vast and diverse people in their care with wise and understanding hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those facing or recovering from droughts or floods, from violent weather or rising sea levels, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For an awareness of the preciousness of life, from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all parents, that God will guide them in nurturing their children and give them insight as they ponder options for the coming school year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer that we might grow in wisdom and understanding and use these gifts to continue building the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. For all who are grieving the death of a loved one, especially Bonnie Brown, one of our parishioners, that God will comfort them, ease their pain, give them the strength to face each day, and fill their hearts with peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. Oh God, Come to you this evening. We come faith and hope and in love. Be with us, guide us, take care of us on our need. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
I know. <laughs> so do you know that we bring communion to them? They don't yeah. Come to okay. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and your sacrifice is now accepted by God, who is your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O Lord, accept these gifts we present you tonight on this altar. By the gift of your grace, lead us now to the life that leads us only to you. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we come to you tonight to give you thanks and praise because you're the Holy Father. You're the Almighty, the eternal God. You sent us to send Jesus. The Word became flesh. He was our Savior, a Redeemer. He was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He was filled with a plan and formed for you, a holy people. He broke the bonds of death and showed us the gift of hope and a new life. So now we join together with all the angels and all the saints as you praise you and together pray. Holy. holy. full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by saying down the Holy Spirit upon them, like they do fall, so that they have become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time when Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. The same way when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks, gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, Lord, and proclaim your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of all salvation. We give you thanks, fully us worthy to be in your presence and administer to you. Humbly now pray that but taking the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring them now to the fullness of life, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and the new Bishop, Mitchell, and the clergy, and all people who love and serve you. Remember all of our brothers and sisters all have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in their mercy, welcome them now into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, O Lord, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs with them to life eternal through your Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us all the words to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who are trespassing against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we ought to be free from sin, safe from all distress, and it's been a blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours, yours now. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may God's peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. 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 <laughs> we now come to the altar to receive Jesus, the bread of life. We pray. Lamb, God, God take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and happy are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. All my being, bless the Lord, bless the holy name of God. All my being, bless the Lord, remembering the goodness of God. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. God forgives us all our sins, healing those who live in pain, saving us from final death. God fills us with goodness and love. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. 
Good and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger, rich in love. God remembers not our sins, forgiving and loving is God. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. As heaven soars above the earth, so great the love of God for us. As far as east is from the west, the Lord takes our sins from us. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. Words of wisdom? Any words of wisdom? Nothing? Okay. 
Let's all pray. Yeah. Oh Lord, you are now consumed with the Blessed Sacrament. We do this to share the passion of Jesus. He gives us a great gift, the gift of his love that's beyond all telling. This we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be there.